Thanks for subscribing to DDTSB. I know as a technician you don't like reading or watching a manual, but in this case I recommend you really do. The next videos are presented by Martin, and Martin is the lead developer at DDTSB. He will take you through the program and show you how to get the most out of it. After watching his videos, you can use this program to its full potential. I really wish you the best of luck, and on behalf of Martin and me, thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Martin, and I have the pleasure of showing you how to use the Diagnose Dan TSP. But before we begin, I would just briefly mention that I have worked as a mechanic since the year 2000, so I know how hard it can be to fix a car today. In the year 2017, I started working for a Danish company called ElectroPartner, and here my main task is to provide the bulletins that you will find inside the Diagnose Dan TSP. So the first step should always be to select the vehicle that you work on. And you have three options to do this. The first option is to select the vehicle by entering the license plate. This service is available in the following countries. You enter the license plate and you press search. You can here see the vehicle that we have selected by entering the license plate. Now the second option is to do a manual search. If I want to find the Ford S Max, I can of course scroll down, or I can just type in the first letter of the car. And I want to select S Max and search. I can now see which engine codes that matches the model that we have selected. And here we have the selected vehicle using manual search. Now the third way you can use if you have selected the car previously. This is the history database of previous selected cars inside the program. So once you have selected the car that you work on, you can see my selection here in the top right. We are ready to move on to the next step, which is on the bulletins. And just to be clear, TSB is short for Technical Service Bulletins, but in this program I will refer to it as bulletins. In the top left you find the search engine for the program. So you type in whatever information or symptom that you're looking for. Hopefully you have a fault code. So let's try and enter a fault code for this vehicle. It came up with one specific bulletin for this fault code. You press on it, press show document, and you can now view the bulletin and hopefully there's a solution to your problem or at least there's a great way to start your diagnose based on others' experience. So let's try to take another example where we want to find a bulletin using a fault code. We enter a new fault code and press search. This time the system didn't find any information that matched the fault code that we entered and the car that we chose. The next step we could do is to go on the fault codes and look up the meaning of this fault code. And there's also a bulletin to this fault code. But please note that when you find a bulletin under the fault code section, it is related to all car brands and all models. So it is not related to the car that we previously chose. It's for inspirational purpose only. We can see that this bulletin relates to an Audi Q5 and it has to do with the LED module that controls the daytime running light. The reason that we have this feature is because that we can see that the same systems are used in different models or car brands, so you can find a lot of inspiration to your diagnose by studying similar cases with the same fault code. So let's try to take a fault code that I know has a lot of bulletins. Could be lacking fuel pressure, and of course there will be lots of bulletins to read on this problem. So, on the fault codes you search for all car brands, on the bulletins you search specific on the car that you have chosen. We have now reached the end of this video, but I hope that you can find the time to watch the next video where I will show you how to find the bulletins in the program when you don't have any fault codes stored. See you next time guys!